All right, the one state champ, true state championship we have this weekend is in uh, is in non-public group two, and uh, St. Joe is back in a familiar spot after a couple years of not making it to this point in the playoffs. They had won eight straight titles, which I think ended in 2007. 2006. 2006, 2006 was their last one. Right. Okay. Uh, but now they're back in the final, and they're taking on Gloucester Catholic. Uh, you know, how do you see this game playing out? I think you mentioned before that, that Catholic likes to throw. St. Joe, as, as always, is a running team. Right. St. Joe favors the run with Gordon Hill, Sean Clark, Kaheem Reynolds at running back, Daryl Smith, the quarterback, sophomore, more, at this point in his uh, career, more comfortable running instead of throwing. Uh, Gloucester Catholic comes at you the opposite way. Cody Brown at quarterback, thrown for more than 1,700 yards, 15 touchdowns. So really contrasting styles here. Uh, both teams are 7-2. and two. Gloucester Catholic's only losses are to Williamstown and Delsey Regional, who are both undefeated. Uh, uh, St. Joe was upset by Bridgeton opening weekend, and then they lost to St. Augustine. So, you know, kind of uh, looks to be an even matchup here. you got one team that likes to run, one team that likes to throw. Uh, whoever does a better job of shutting the other team down going to win the football game. Yeah, I mean, uh, it'll be interesting to see how if St. Joe, like we said, they, they are a little bit younger. Um, they did get back a guy. We have a feature story in Friday's paper, Jared Bianchini. They got him back last week. He was out for a good part of the year. Right. You know, he could have an impact on this game. Yeah, he tore his ACL in the Middle Township game and really worked hard to get back. Uh, you know, really kind of an inspiring story. I don't know how much he's actually going to play on Saturday, but just the fact that he's there in uniform should be an example Leadership. to all his teammates of what, you know, of how badly or how important or what this means to them. So anybody that sees him run out onto the field, uh, you know, should be able to take inspiration from, from what he's done so far this season. And, and like you said, for St. Joe, their last uh, state title was in 2006. We, we said it before, other schools would still be basking in the glow uh, mm -hmm. of that championship. For St. Joe, it's uh, like a Chicago Cub-like drought, right. you know, three Two, years without three, a state three title. <laughs> so, you know, they want to get back. And, and, and these teams have a little bit of a history. In 2007, the team that ended St. Joe's streak was Gloucester Catholic. They beat them in the semifinals that year. So St. Joe with a chance to sort of avenge that defeat and put themselves back on top and win another state title, uh, you know, which is important to the seniors of St. Joe because uh, they were freshmen last time they won, so they weren't really part of that team. You know, this is their chance to leave their mark on the St. Joe tradition, which is one reason why Bianchini, as you'll read about in tomorrow's uh, paper, uh, worked so hard to get back.